Hello. Modern static code analysis tools that focus not on code quality but on code security would uh, flag a few things in your Ruby on Rails application. For example, it would go to the schema RB and uh, see the names of the fields that you use uh, in your database. And it would possibly go to your model and see that you don't have encryption on the gender or on the first name. And it would say that uh, there's a warning that uh, you're missing application level encryption for sensitive data. So how can I add this uh, application level encryption to sensitive data in a Ruby on Rails application? My first thought was to go to ChatGPT and ask it this question. So it told me that I should use a gem active record encryption. I should add encrypts and uh, specify the attribute in my model. And I would also add encrypted field in my database. Now, an interesting thing, uh, in Ruby on Rails, there is no such thing, thing as add encrypted field. And also if I actually find this gem, the gem does exist, and uh, I go to the API, it uh, specifies encrypted attribute, not uh, encrypted. So it's, uh, well, quite irrelevant. Like this guide is uh, complete bullshit. And uh, actually the right way to add the encryption to a Ruby on Rails 7 application is to use uh, active record encryption, a new feature that has been added to Ruby on Rails 7. So in this episode, we're going to add active record encryption to an existing application in Ruby on Rails and troubleshoot along, along the way. Now, here's the basic application. I've uh, just got a client uh, model. I've got a name that is a string, an integer annual income, and a text health condition. So you see, all this kind of information can be quite uh, sensitive for a user. And we can explore our database. I will uh, go to, to the Explorer and you see I've got the names. I've got the incomes, I've got the health conditions, and obviously like your developers possibly also must, mustn't have this like easily accessible information of uh, your users. Well, if they're given uh, production access, for example. So we're going to try and add active record encryption. So going to the guide, first of all, we would say uh, encryption in it. So let's run the command uh, Rails encryption in it. I will add these generated lines to my credentials uh, like this. I quit the credentials and now uh, I can try adding encryption to one of the attributes. So I would go back to my client.rb model and I would add encryption to the health condition. Now, adding encryption to text fields is usually the easiest because a text field can store uh, as many, well, more or less as many characters as you want and uh, whatever you encrypt it will be like a, a long encryption token that is actually stored in the, da the database and these uh, lines that we have generated here help decrypt this thing that is actually stored in the database so uh, yeah let's try adding encrypts uh, health condition okay and now can we i don't know run the server I go to the server, I refresh, and you see we have this active record encryption errors in decryption. Okay, why is it so? So maybe I will say Rails console, I will get client.all, I get an error, it's the same error, decryption error. Let me try client.first, and you see we have the same error. Why is it so? Because we said that uh, we are encrypting this attribute, but it understood that uh, the attribute is not encrypted at the moment for us. So it gives this kind of uh, error. Now to be able to... Yeah, okay. Let's try creating a new client. So I will go back. Yeah, actually nothing works. So in this transitional period, we will need to uh, disable or enable a few workarounds. So uh, going back to the docs, uh, there is this line uh, support unencrypted data and we're going to set it to true. So I will go to application RB and we're going to add the uh, config active record encryption support unencrypted data equals true. Now if I restart the server Rails S, I can access the application. So let me try to create a new client, Yaro, health condition, okay, create client. And you see the client has been created. Now let me try to find the client in the console. Uh, client equals client dot last client client dot uh, ciphertext for health condition. And you see 
this ciphertext say, says what is exactly stored in the database. So you see, this is what is stored in the database, but this is what uh, is displayed. So it kind of looks cool. And you see, we are using not deterministic encryption by default. What does this mean? If I say client.decrypt uh, and uh, try getting that cipher text, you see, uh, client, the health condition is stored as okay, and in the database it is also as okay. And I will say client.encrypt, and let's get the cipher text once again. You see, these two texts are different. So uh, each time you encrypt the uh, same value again, the actual token that is saved in the database is going to be different, and it provides additional security. But the problem with this approach is that you can't really query this data. So what if you want to encrypt the name of the user, but also be able to search by the name? Well, for this, we would need to use deterministic encryption. So we would say encrypts uh, name deterministic true. Let's try adding this encryption and run the Rails console. So let's say client.all, you see it works because we have previously added this uh, uh, line. And let's try finding a client by the name Yaro. Let's say client equals client.findby name Yaro. And you see it uh, tried looking for a client by this uh, token. So this will be the token for Yaro. If I say for Yaro2, you see the token is uh, quite different. So this deterministic thing means that, uh, uh, well, it knows what the token would be, uh, what the encrypted token would be for what we are actually storing in the database. So this is slightly less secure, but it would let us uh, query uh, encrypted records. But you see, at the moment we still can't query. Why is it so? Because we need to also enable it manually. We would need to say uh, extend queries true. So I'm going to add this to application.rb and uh, reload. Let me try finding the client. Uh, okay, let me restart the server. And you see, I actually found the client. So it works. So uh, with this line, it helps us uh, work with our database when we have both encrypted and unencrypted records. And this one helps us make uh, queries with uh, deterministic encryption. Okay, looks uh, fine, but uh, let's have a look at our current state of the database. So I know I will refresh here. I will go to the database and you see this uh, new client, when we created him, uh, we were encrypting only the health condition, so it is actually encrypted. The name is not encrypted and the previous clients are not encrypted. So let's uh, try encrypting them. Let's say Rails console client uh, dot all dot each do client client dot encrypt and okay let me try once again I will refresh this uh, and you see yeah so the names and the health conditions for all the clients have been encrypted and once again let me try querying a client let's say client equals client dot find by name Anna whatever and you see we did find this client so looks uh, quite good and uh, next what uh, if we want to have uh, an integer field that it would be encrypted let's try doing this so I will say uh, encrypts uh, annual income Okay, let me once again quit the console, start it just to be sure, and encrypt all the clients, and you see we get this uh, error. So we were trying to encrypt an integer, so uh, it generated some kind of uh, like uh, encryption token that would be decrypted into this integer. But you see, it tries to store this inside our integer field it tries to store it in the big int and like you can store only integers here you can't store just some kind of random token so to be able to actually encrypt integers we would have to store them not as integers we would have to store them as text 
let's try doing this. Let's say Rails generate migration uh, uh, encrypt uh, integer. Let's have a look at this migration encrypt uh, integer. And I would say change column in the table clients. The column name is uh, uh, annual income. And we're going to change it to text. And let's just uh, run the migration. Rails db migrate. Okay, let's uh, get our refreshed uh, database once again. Run the query. And you see the annual income has just been uh, translated from integer to text, but the values have been uh, uh, persisted. So like uh, the values have not been nullified or whatever. The values have just been turned from uh, integers to strings. Okay, now we need to actually add the encryption. So uh, let's try run the command to add encryption once again. It was client all encrypt. And uh, let's have a look at our database once again. So I'm going to run the query. And you see the name, the annual income and the health conditions are all encrypted. Okay, let's uh, just try creating a new client. Let's say Rails server. I will go back to the list of clients. And let's say new client, uh, uh, Julia. Annual income, let's make it whatever. Health condition, create create client okay so you see in the front end we can see the name the annual income the health condition and let's try to actually view uh, the dat database once again so you see we have uh, everything encrypted in the database the, so if like somebody steals our database he will also need uh, our keys that we store in our credentials to decrypt these values and uh, view them somehow Okay, let's try uh, seeing what is actually stored in the database instead of uh, just seeing the name of the client, for example. So we could just go to the client and say, instead of just showing the client name, we would also show, show a ciphertext for name. Let's see. And you see, this is what is actually stored in the database and this is the way it is decrypted. So yeah, it's uh, about it. We've uh, added encryption for strings, for text fields, and for integers in the Ruby on Rails application. So use deterministic encryption on fields that you are going to query, and uh, regular encryption for fields that uh, you're not going to query. The regular encryption is a bit safer, and uh, well, but deterministic is... Uh, one that lets you actually find the client by the full name. And uh, another thing about deterministic encryption, so you want to be able to make queries like find uh, where name contains. You will have to make like uh, find where name equals. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you have success in encrypting your valuable information and uh, making your database less useful for malicious players. Goodbye.